YouTube video. Today I'm going to get another piercing, if you can imagine such a thing. I know that I barely have any, as you can tell, but uh, yeah, this is an annual tradition. I seem to be getting one a year or two a year lately, depending on how things go. So Brody is driving me to do it, and he's going to film me while I get it. How exciting. So I think this is number 54, I want to say. I'm going to have to double check on that, but I'm pretty sure this is number 54. And... That sounds crazy because I don't I don't feel like I have that many. You know what I mean? Like I don't I don't feel like that sounds like a lot when you say it out loud, but it doesn't feel like I have that many. But technically I do, so it is what it is. Uh, anyways, we are here at Thrive Studios in Cambridge again that do beautiful, wonderful work. So uh guess there's nothing else to say. Let's get to it. Also, by the way, as usual, I have no fucking idea what I'm gonna get. I just sort of book like a surprise me slot and we figure it out when I get there because I don't have a lot of space left and I don't have a lot of um, ideas and sometimes like I would have an idea like oh I'll get my septum done and then I find out like I have a crooked septum and it would look like shit I'm not gonna get that done so I usually just book a time slot with a piercer and we fucking figure it out when I get inside so let's do it Missy. Okay. You look good? Yep. Does it look teeny tiny? Yeah, that's actually really small. people that like pass out or crazy things happen or oh yeah really deep breath in long slow exhale i have a lot of teenagers that end up passing out oh really like they think they're they think they're ready for it or whatever and then it's not even terrible that's the thing i mean like it's there is a needle going through your body so it's not like delightful but i mean it's not they get up too fast, don't eat, they don't want to tell you that they're lightheaded because right. they think it's embarrassing. And right. It's usually okay, but when parents are in the room with them, that is when they will, like, the parents will freak out a bit. I guess, yeah. I didn't think about that. That makes sense. That I guess it depends on the age of the teenager, too. Like, parents probably would come in with, like, a younger teen, but maybe not, like, an older one. I don't know. Sometimes the parents just don't want to watch at all. Yeah, that's fair. Not everybody likes watching needles. I did have a, I knew a lady that was a piercer at a place in Guelph at one point. Yeah. And uh, she told me that she had somebody once that, like, um, when they got up, they passed out and peed themselves on the floor. I had somebody pee their pants on. Really? Yeah. yeah. Was your person, uh... We didn't even pierce them that day. Oh, really? Like, they peed themselves before you did it? We just put jewelry back in. Oh. That was it. Oh. And it was like instant pass out. Really? Yeah. Huh. That's very. I guess some people are like squeamish about, well, a lot of things, like getting their bodies touched or whatever. I know people that won't wear contacts because they're squeamish about their eyes, that kind of thing. Yeah. But you voluntarily got pierced. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, like nobody's... contacts are a thing you can't help if your eyes are bad. You need either glasses or contacts. You have to choose. That's the way it is. But, uh, no, you walked in here and spent good money on that. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Deep breath in. Long It was, uh, like you stretched their tongue back open. Oh. And went to take the jewelry back in, or like it had just been out for a couple of days. Right. I guess that's maybe the weird look inside your mouth. Personal information about you, Brody, but I think. Um, 
Yeah, all good. Must be tricky to go around, I bet. long amount of time and some discomfort later. Did we do it? Thank God, because that is <laughs> quite sore. Yeah, that would not be fun. We did. Cold sailing. That was quite the ordeal. I haven't had a piercing like that in a while where something has, you know, gone wrong and whatever. She had to fix it. But to her credit, she kept working on it. And you know what? Like, nobody is... You do not do your job perfectly 100% every day. And that was not that was not her fault. That was just an unfortunate, you know, turn of events. But we both persevered through. And it's in there. Can you see? I don't I haven't... I did see it. But isn't it cute? Isn't it cute? I love it. It's just a little, a lot angry right now. <laughs> Absolutely no, it was, it was a very positive experience and like, you know, shit happens. Shit happens. I'm just glad that it happened to me because I'm obviously like a veteran here. I've had a lot of piercings. <laughs> you so, might not even be able to tell which one is the new one right away. Right? Yeah. So it's, it's, if, I'm just glad it wasn't someone else. Like if that had been a new person, like if that was their first piercing or something like that, like that would make them fucking miserable so as much as it was unpleasant feeling for me um it's in there i'm so happy i haven't had an orbital piercing in a number of years i think it's really cute and uh yeah totally totally pleased and now i get to go have some delicious dinner and hopefully forget how much my ear hurts for now so I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know which your favorite piercing is that you have. That would be that would be an interesting thing for me to read in the comments, so let me know that. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to follow me on any of the things, social medias, I have all of them. We're going to link them all below. Um, if you want to buy me a Kofi, you can. It's kofi.com slash And, uh, yeah, we're going to link the, the social media and stuff for Thrive Studios below as well, because they do an amazing job and I've been getting pierced there for a number of years and I've been nothing but thrilled with them every single time that I've ever been so we're gonna link all their stuff below and I think that's it like subscribe follow me on social media if you want to buy me a Kofi if you want to go follow Thrive Studios on everything because they're amazing and I will see you guys all around for my next YouTube video which will not be another piercing until this little bitch heals <laughs> true story cartilage piercings are an asshole yeah. I don't want it.